What's going on guys, it's James from Running and Lawns here. We got a nice design job. Um, we're just getting the ground prepped right now because there's a lot of weeds as you can see. Um, we're gonna be bringing in about three yards of topsoil, two pallets of slate rock, lots of pl plants, and lots of dirt, so stay tuned guys. project was a little bit more complicated than some of the design jobs we've done in the past and the reason being for that is due to its location and some of the requirements by the client. Now this project was actually declined by many landscapers in Long Beach, New York due to its complexity. Uh, the big thing that made it as difficult as it was, was the fact that this property could not be accessed by road. Uh, this property was in the middle of a neighborhood which was only, you were only able to access it via sidewalk. Um, and also the, the client had wanted a slate rock slash river rock, um, raised beds as well as, you know, lots of mulch, all these plants and, and you know, topsoil. So obviously bringing in all that type of material led to some, you know, so difficulties and, and some you know problem solving had to you know be done and uh, done for that. Now also the client requested that it, all the plants that were installed be low maintenance and be drought tolerant as they did not intend on putting in a sprinkler system and they were and this house is used as a vacation property so the residents are not there all year round. So this is obviously you know I had to you know come up with a, you know a decent amount of thinking on our end to make sure that this would all you know work to the client specifications. All in all, the project came out great. The client was very thrilled with the end results, um, the, and we were able to execute flawlessly without any issues. Knock on wood. And so we brought in you know two pallets of slate slash river rocks to create these elevated beds, and then once we had completed that. Um, we actually went ahead and f filled those elevated beds with four yards of topsoil. We'd also previously, before we did that, we had to, you know, make sure all the area there was cleared of any, you know, debris and, and you know, any growth that was there. And then we leveled it, graded it away from the house so that way the water wouldn't run off towards the house. Um, after all that was done, we put down a, you know, weed barrier so that way any weeds wouldn't grow back as the client had requested that it would be a low maintenance uh, design. And then we also went ahead and, and put a large array of plants um, that were very drought tolerant. They were also, some of these plants were actually acceptable to be walked on and they were able to handle that um, as well as, you know, being colorful like the, the client had requested. Um, after we had done all that, then we went ahead and put down some a grade A cedar black mulch. So that way, you know, gave all the plants, you know, a little bit of pop and then it also helps reduce the likelihood of any additional weeds coming up and it also helps the plants retain some of the moisture that is, you know, from rainfall. So all in all, like I said, the client was extremely thrilled with the outcome and hopefully you, know, you guys can see that too. All right, and we got a lot more coming soon, so hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. Thanks.